everybody and welcome to another episode of our Duotone Foiling Tech Talk series. I'm Klaas, this is Jerome, our foil designer, and we are standing here with two pretty hot new masts, uh, the new D-Lab Slim 2.0 series. Actually, one is missing in the middle. Um, Jerome, what's the reason we are changing to a new design on the D-Lab masts? Well, we're trying to go for even thinner mast and uh, lower the drag, basically, coming from the mast. So our previous D-Lab mask was just under uh, 17 millimeter thick mm -hmm. and uh, 125 millimeter in cord. And we're down now on the, the shorter one, the 76 centimeter mass. We're down on a 13.5 millimeter profile at the bottom that tapers gently to about 15 and a half over here. And We've got a much reduced cord length of uh, 108 millimeters at the bottom and uh, around 115 at the top here. And uh, the profile itself is quite different as well. Um, comparing same thickness, same cord length, this new profile is already quite a bit uh, lower drag than our previous one. Mm -hmm. So of course, now that we've, now that we've reduced uh, the thickness, and the cord length, it's, I mean, the difference is, I mean, you've tried the mass, it, you can't it's really insane. compare, yeah. You yeah, can't yeah. really compare the, the two masks. Um, so it's a complete redesign. We don't have that um, glued on foot anymore. Um, no. It's all one tapered, one piece. The range now consists of three sizes. Before we had an 82 and a 90. Yep. And now we're having a 76, an 84 coming that's missing in this one here yeah and a 94 so maybe tell me a little bit about that um, what's the idea behind the split and what is each mask designed for sure so the 76 is made mainly for prone like surf foiling and downwind supping mm -hmm. um, you can still run relatively big wings on it as in in terms of span um, 100, 110 um, centimeters still works, uh, even though it is thin and everything. So you should not be worried that this mask will be too flexy or whatever compared to the previous ones. They are actually still very stiff. Quite a bit stiff, I think. I mean, I pumped this mask with our amp yeah. and uh, the Glide 2145 and I had no issues. I'm not that heavy, I'm 73 kilos. Yeah. Um, but I had no issues with the uh, strength. It was really like solid feel. Yeah, so I think that uh, people shouldn't be worried about going for such a thin mass. It's still very stiff. I mean, we've packed a lot of carbon fiber, uh, high modulus carbon fiber in there. Um, they, they are for sure a little bit heavier than before. Our previous mass had a, a hollow uh, construction in between the, the carbon in the middle and now we've got a foam core and just a thicker layer of carbon around to obviously achieve the, the thickness the, the stiffness sorry mm -hmm. and to compensate for the thin the thin, thin profile. profile yeah exactly another thing which is um, new on these masts is we've sort of tapered we've elongated and tapered the base plate at the at the front here so that we've got a very clean entry it's becoming more and more of a topic uh, nowadays, with, especially with uh, downwind uh, supping, mm -hmm. because you need all the help you can get. You know, it's not easy to, to get up on these, on these boards um, with a paddle. So anything we can do at the base here to reduce the drag, uh, it helps a lot. So um, even down to the side of, of the base plate, we, it, it might look very sort of simple in terms of design and very straight line, but it's literally just to get that water flowing nicely around the base plate. So, yeah, a lot of small details that are gonna, I mean, that really differentiate these new masts from the previous generation. It's worth uh, mentioning that the, the 84 centimeter mast is the one that we sort of target for the freestylers. So we've made it- Surf and freestyle. So freestyle, we made it a little bit thicker. Instead of 13 and a half millimeter, we are at 14 and a half. So basically one more millimeter in thickness the whole way. And uh, two more millimeters in cord length, mm -hmm. just because uh, that's gonna be the, the mass that's gonna take the big landings and uh, the abuse from the freestylers and wave riders that might get you know rolled around in big waves and things like this. 
So we've made that small difference with the 84. In the case of the 94, we actually are using a different profile. It's a, because that 94 is going to be used primarily for racing, for going fast, and is going to be sort of ridden at high leaning angles, mm -hmm. we wanted to make sure that the profile used could resist ventilation. It's, uh, it's quite important that you sort of have that trust in your mast. And uh, so we, we, we picked a, a profile that on paper has a little bit more drag than this one, but better resistance to ventilation. And I've got to say, I've, I've pushed this mast to its limit, kite falling at super high speeds, and the mast is behaving super, super well. I'm really happy with it. Uh, in terms of thickness, we are pretty similar to this one, so 13 and a half millimeter. We've got a little bit more cord length because it's a longer mast. We need that extra cord length to keep some torsional uh, rigidity. So 13 and a half, about 15 and a half, tapered as well. Uh, you can probably see it has a little bit, about a centimeter more cord length for the same thickness. Mm -hmm. uh, again, we went with that tapered base plate for the same reason. Touchdowns at, uh, at high speeds are better with uh, a nice clean entry that these uh, base plates have. Apart from that, yeah, still the 3BS connection, so still backwards compatible with any of our previous uh, 3BS fuselage, that hasn't changed. The trusty M8 bolts are still there. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what else I can tell you. Any questions might, <laughs> you might have? So yeah, it sounds like, so in uh, comparison to the previous D-Lab, which was like one straight profile, uh, one straight mast, um, kind of hitting the middle ground. Now we have a D-Lab mast, D-Lab being the top of the range, obviously, yeah. um, targeted, perfectly purpose-built for every um, scenario it's been used in. So Every discipline. The yeah. Mainly for winging, yeah. in the wave, freestyle, flat water, um, and holding jumps, the race mast fully, or free race, race mast fully for speeds. Yeah. And then this one, minimal drag um, in the right length for uh, prone and downwind. Yeah. Um, one, one, one big difference as well, with that reduced cord length, the turning is amazing. Like the, the mass is able to, to turn much tighter than before. I just wanted to touch that because yeah. I tested that 74, uh, 76 just recently. Yeah. And that's one of the main things I feel besides the extra stiffness. So it's very direct, but it's the playfulness is something yeah. you notice straight away where the older mass with the longer cord just holds you back a little bit. Yeah. This one is just loose. And so it's definitely targeting more the advanced riders. For sure. Um, but it's something that gives you so much more performance, so much lower drag. And it's uh, every one of us, when we talked about, hey, but it's going to be a little heavier, everyone involved was like, we don't care. <laughs> <laughs> we don't care. It's a little bit heavier because yeah. it rides so sweet. Yeah. It rides so good. And all the team riders that we got one of those to try, they were like, oh, I can't wait to get this in an 84. It's like, yeah, because that, that's why the 184 is missing. We were working on these two first. Yeah. Um, and uh, the 84 is just, just about to, to come. Yeah, um, yeah. but uh, I think a lot of this, what we feel here is also happening inside. A lot of work has been done by Poldo on getting the layup right the layup, between yeah. the different high modulus grades, fibers and intermediate and get the rigidity with the durability and the weight down. <laughs> um, this is the magic inside, but yeah, what I can just tell you by using it is feels insane. Yeah. For sure. All right. Thanks for the insights. Hey, if you guys have any questions, any comments, or if you just like this uh, content, leave us a like. Make sure you subscribe because uh, especially for these, if you think about downwind performance or free race, race performance speed, there is wings that we talk about in individual tech talks. So make sure you don't miss these. And I hope to see you in one of those episodes.